Hi, this is Brian from Webucator. Today we're going to be looking at a PHP script that's going to be pinging a remote server or website. This is really useful if you want to check if a website is up or available, or if it's not, if it's down. We're going to be following along with a tutorial uh, from thecave.info, and thank you to Darian Brown for letting us create this video. So, if we scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see that uh, Darian's provided us two different methods to ping a server. Uh, the first one is going to use the exact command. And if we go down a little bit further, you can see that the uh, second one is the fsoc open command. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the code. All right, you can see that I've created a file called ping-exec.php. Now I've used uh, pretty much all of the code that Darian provided us. I did modify uh, some of the output code, and I also put it inside an HTML file here. Um, and I'm including the font awesome uh, uh, CSS library, which does our vector graphics or icons for us. And I'm going to use that uh, font awesome to show uh, a checkbox or an empty square um, whether the the site is up or down. So. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our ping function. On line 16, you can see that we've declared a function called ping, and we're accepting an argument called host. This host is going to be the string um, or uh, uh, the uh, IP address of the server that we want to test. You can see on line 18 that we're running the exec command and that we're going to provide it with the first three arguments. Let's jump over to the PHP documentation and take a quick look at what those arguments are. Cool. All right, you can see here that this is the exec command and that it executes an external program. The first argument is a, the actual command that we're going to execute, and that's going to be a string. The second argument is the output or the result uh, that's going to uh, come from our command, from our external program. And the third argument is the return variable. We'll be using this return variable to test whether our ping command uh, executed and returned uh, true or false based on if the site is up. And let me just jump back to the code here. Great, so you can see here on line 18 that the first argument we're providing um, the string and we're running the command ping. You can also see that we're providing, uh, we're using the sprintf to uh, Put our uh, to format the string correctly, and we're adding in uh, where the percent sign s placeholder is. We're adding in the actual host argument that we're going to be uh, pinging. You'll also see that I'm using the escape shell arg function. Uh, that's recommended by PHP. Whenever you're using user provided input and uh, using that in the exec command, we want to make sure that any arguments provided to our exec command is escaped appropriately. And uh, that's exactly what the escape shell arg function will do for us. You can also see that we've provided uh, the second argument of $res uh, for our result. And then the third argument is $rval for our return value. On line 19, you can see that we're testing that return value. And if it equals 0, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we'll return false. Let me just jump over to the terminal real quick, and I just want to show you um, exactly what's happening. So we're running this ping command, and uh, so it's, I've already uh, tested it here, and you can see that this is the exact command that's going to uh, end up being executed by PHP. Um, again, I'm going to be using uh, google.com to test, and if I hit enter, you can see that uh, it goes out, it pings the google.com server, and you can see that it was returned and uh, it was successful. So uh, we assume that because that, that happened, that google.com is up and available. So let's jump back to our code, and we're going to be uh, running our ping function. On line 24, you can see that I have to find a variable called host and set that to the string www.google.com. That's the host that we're going to actually ping. And then on line 25, I'm calling our ping function and providing the host. That's going to return into the up variable, which I will then use on line 29 uh, to test uh, the 
truth value of that to see if up is true or false. And I'm going to be uh, outputting uh, our font awesome icon based on if the, uh, the, the host is up or down. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Switch over to Google Chrome. I'm going to ping via exec. I'm going to reload this. And cool, you can see that www.google.com is up. All right, what if we change this to something else? You can see before I tried uh, Yahoo, let's do that now. So save that, switch back over and reload, and you can see that yahoo.com is up. I want to just show you something real quick, and then this will come into play later when we talk about the, the next method. Let's actually try pinging webucator.com. Save this and reload. And you can see that webucator.com, uh, that it comes back as false. And the reason for this is we don't respond to the ping request. The ping request uh, comes over ICMP as basically just a simple echo, and we just don't respond to that. Um, and so because of that, it looks like the webucator.com site is down. But if I switch over and pull up webucator.com, we can see here that that came right up. So. So that's uh, that's one of the shortfalls of using the ping command, and it's just uh, it's not related to PHP. It's related to the ping command. So if I do the same thing on the terminal and run that exact command, you can see it's going to go and uh, it sends one packet, um, but none was returned. So it's 100% packet loss because we just we just ignore those. So so you can see that the ping command uh, works and it's relatively easy to use exec to run it. Uh, but it does have uh, some of its drawbacks. The next thing that Darian showed us, though, is how to use the fsoc open uh, function in PHP. Let's take a quick look at the docs. I always like to take a look because it really explains it well for us. Okay, you can see here that the fsoc open is just going to open a domain socket connection. And there's a bunch of arguments that we can provide to the fsoc open. Uh, the first one is going to be our host name. That's going to be the string. Uh, just like before, we'll pass in a string like uh, www.google.com. We'll then provide a port. In this instance, we can actually specifically co uh, connect a port 80 to our web server. Uh, the default value is negative 1, and it won't use any port. The next argument uh, is the error number. And then we have the error string and then the timeout. And we're going to provide all of those arguments uh, when we run this. So let's take a quick look. Cool. All right, so on line 18, we're declaring our ping function again. Now this time we have three arguments. The first argument is going to be our host. Again, that's going to be a string that we're going to provide. Um, and that can be our IP address or the domain name of the remote server that we want to test. Our port, uh, it's going to be an integer, and we're going to default that to, to port 80, which is the standard uh, HTTP port. And then we're also going to have a timeout uh, integer, uh, and that's going to be defaulted to 6, and that's 6 seconds. Uh, so after 6 seconds, if the socket can't be established, um, it'll return false and... Uh, and then we'll know that the site is down. Let me just jump back real quick just to show you what the return value is of the fsoc open command. Uh, I go past it. There it is. Um, you can see here that underneath the return values that fsoc open uh, returns a file pointer. And that's not very helpful for us, but the next part is pretty helpful. It says that if the call fails, it will return false. So we can check for that false value, and if it does return false, we know that our site is down. Um, if it doesn't, if it does not return false, if it returns that file pointer, we're not going to make a use of that. Um, you could if you wanted to, but we're just going to assume that um, that the site's up because it didn't return false. Let's jump back here, and you can see that uh, we've coded this logic up on line 21. Um, I'm just testing uh, the fsoc return value. And I'm saying if that is not true, or if it's false, then we're going to return false on line 22 from our ping function. Otherwise, on line 24, we'll return true. The code down at the bottom is the exact same before with the ping exec. So let's switch this first to Google. Save that, and let's jump over, reload this, 
and cool you can see that www.google.com is up let's also try Yahoo all right Yahoo's up and then let's also try Webucator save that and we can see that webucator.com is up um, so you can see that using the FSOC open uh, uh, is a little bit more uh, thorough because we can actually specify the port that we want to connect to rather than just trying to uh, ping the server. So, Great, well I hope you've enjoyed this video and again thanks to Darian for letting us uh, go over this tutorial and show you how to uh, create a PHP script to ping uh, or to check a remote server or website.